They did it for the thrill, law enforcement officials claim. Four teenage boys from Baltimore stole 26 vehicles just for a joyride and bragging rights on social media, posting videos and photos, posing with stolen cars and lots of middle fingers. Gang members wore key fobs from the cars that they stole on their belts like trophies and they would joyride around with the, the cars and then dump them. They are described in grand jury indictments returned earlier this month as a gang, a violent, organized carjacking ring operating across Baltimore City and County during the last four months of 2017. They just terrorize people, uh, doing these sort of bump and grabs where they bump into a car, they accost the, the, the occupants of the car, they violently uh, attack them, um, and then they steal the car. The four defendants taken down by a team of federal, state and local law enforcement and behind bars tonight, charged with 16 assaults and 26 carjackings, including a case in Charles Village, where a city newcomer was targeted just five days after moving here. They chased me and they they were, you know, I was running and I was screaming at that point. They took pride in feeling no concern about the consequences of their violence. They left a trail of stolen cars, stolen wallets, stolen phones, and broken bones. Each of the four teenagers now facing between 32 and 55 criminal counts, and if convicted, facing decades behind bars. I consider the announcement of these indictments a true triumph in our fight on the senseless and life-changing crimes across this state. That was Kate Amara reporting. Now, at that news conference today, the attorney general said some of the victims were actually victimized twice with a gang using other keys on a stolen key ring to steal another vehicle from the very same person.